Hi everyone. I'm gonna show you how to use the data visualizer tool in App Lab. This tool will let you look at the data and the different data sets in a number of different ways. I'll show you how to access it and how to use its features. First, you're gonna to wanna to go to the data tab over here. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is import a data set. So you can look through the categories of data sets here. You can even preview what's in a data set by clicking on this preview button right here. This will give you an example of the data that's contained in this data set. This might give you an idea of whether you're interested in using this data or not. You can also click on this more info button to see the metadata associated with that data set. This will tell you about the source of the data, any cleaning that might have been done to the data set, and more details about the data that's contained in each of the columns. Once you've imported the data set, it should show up over here on the right hand side. Let's take a look at this AP Computer Science Test Taker data set. Once you click on it, you'll see all the data show up here with the columns across the top and the values going down. The visualizer tool is up here where it says visualize data. Once you click on it, you'll see this pop up show up. This is where you're going to do the work of actually creating your data visualizations. Across the top, you'll see that there's a place to put a title in for your chart. You can choose between what type of chart you want to make. You can make a bar chart, a histogram, a scatter plot, or a cross tab. Let's start by looking at a bar chart. If we're going to make a bar chart, we first need to decide which value it is that we want to graph. Now we can look at these values in this dropdown and choose that way. Or we can go back to the metadata tab over here and read a little bit more about what each column contains. Let's say we're interested in this column right here, total percent female. What percentage of students who took an APCS test in that state were female? Go back over here to the visualizer tab and select that variable from this dropdown. Now this bar chart shows across the x-axis the percentages, so the total percentage of test takers in a state that identified as female. The height of each bar shows the number of states that shared that percentage. So for example, six different states had 30% of their CS test takers identify as female. And now this bar chart is helpful for answering certain types of questions. It's helpful for learning some information, but there are other ways that we can visualize this data as well. For example, we can make a histogram. And let's look at the same value as before, total percent female. When we make a histogram, the first thing we need to decide is the bucket size or the range that each category is going to represent. In this case, percent. So we could have each category be 2%, and this is what the chart would look like. We can have it be 10%, and this is what the chart would like. Again, this is the same data, just being visualized in different ways. Let's go with 5% buckets. Now, this is the same data we looked at in the bar chart, but we can see different things here. So instead of unique percentages, we can see a range of percentages. So we can see that 22 states had between 25 and 30% of their CS test takers identify as female. And this type of visualization can be helpful for answering different types of questions and learning different types of information. Later, we'll learn more about the other types of visualizations you can make with this visualizer tool.